Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video what I wanted to talk about was a Raspberry Pi. Not the dessert Raspberry Pis, I'm talking about the single board computer Raspberry Pis. Now this one is in a case, um, but essentially all it is, is a single board computer uh, that runs Linux. Um, so you can probably tell where I'm getting at with this, is that this little device here is a great way for you not only to learn Linux, but to play around with lots of like applications and services as well. Um, so at the moment I have three, uh, so this is one and I've got two others. And what I'm using them for at the moment is I'm actually running my website on one, I'm running an ad blocker uh, for my local network and a VPN. So uh, say on my phone, if I want to connect to my home network, I can, and that is all done through my Raspberry Pis. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you my setup um, and kind of just show you what you can do with Raspberry Pi and why they're such a great little tool uh, for you to start learning uh, not only Linux, but yeah, like I said, a bunch of services and just getting uh, familiar with what you can do. Uh, so I'll see you in my desktop. Cool. So here we are at my desktop um, and I am currently SSH'd into my two Raspberry Pis. Um, I'm not using this one at the moment because it has a issue with its SD card, but that's fine. Um, it's not hard to fix. But what I want to cover is kind of show you what my Raspberry Pis are doing and kind of just get you excited and maybe interested in getting a Raspberry Pi of your own. So like I said, I'm SSH'd into my Raspberry Pis and I'll show you that they are indeed running Linux. Um, I've installed a Ubuntu image on them. So here you can see here, it is running Ubuntu. Um, all on this little board. So what I'm doing on, let's jump to my other one, my Raspberry Pi 2. So what this is and what you're seeing in front of you at the moment is a ad blocker. It's called Pi Hole. And what it's doing at the moment is it's pretty much my DNS server for my home network. So that, what that pretty much means is all my network traffic uh, will talk to my Pi Hole and Pi Hole is pretty much deciding what and what I can't see, right? And I get to control that. So it blocks a whole lot of ads and everything. Um, so let me show you kind of the web interface. It might give you a better understanding. So this is me logged into the actual Pi Hole web interface. And as you can see here, it's just a way for me to be able to see all the traffic that's happening in my local network. And it has pretty much like I was using a, a pretty much pre-built uh, block list. And there's just a bunch of like URL domains for ads and stuff that are blocked out of the box for me. So, uh, you know, when you go into a website, it will block all the uh, ads so you don't have them or just like those real pesky ads that you get. Um, and then you can whitelist some as well. So if there's certain sites you do want to see the ads because you want to, you know, contribute to maybe whoever's running it, you know, you can whitelist their website so you can see the ads and stuff and whatnot. Uh, so you do have full control. And you can see pretty much everything that's happening in your network. Now, I don't want to cover this too deeply because I probably will make a video on this. Um, but this is one thing I am running as well as that VPN. And that's all running off just one Raspberry Pi. Now, on my other Raspberry Pi, um, I'm running two things on this. So I am running Docker containers. So just listing the Docker containers here, you can see that I'm running two. So I've got my TechDocs website. So this is a custom Docker image I have made uh, based off an Nginx image. Um, and all that is, is just a way for me to host my website. Um, and I've also got this TechDocs retweet. So part of my, uh, you might've seen my previous video, uh, part of my 100 days of code, I actually made a Twitter retweet bot um, made in Python. So what that does is in Twitter, it talks to the Twitter APIs and it's just an account that will retweet anything with the hashtag Linux. So let me show you that. So this is my little Linux bot here. And as you can see here, you retweeted such and such and um, it's got the hashtag Linux here. So anytime anyone puts hashtag Linux, your tweet will be retweeted by my bot. And as you can see here, I have 521,000 retweets, uh, well tweets, but they're all just retweets um, <laughs> that this bot is doing and it's just it's just flying all the time. Um, and that again was just a little side project I wanted to do and it was such a great way um, to test out my Raspberry Pi as well. Um, and again, the other thing, it was hosting my website. Um, as you can see here, this is the local IP address of my Raspberry Pi, but if I go to tiktoks.nz, my website's there. So it is talking to my Raspberry Pi. Um, so those are some great things you can do with a Raspberry Pi. Again, just in a nutshell, I was, I'm running a ad blocker, um, a VPN for my home network, 
um, I'm running my website and a little Python project that I wanted to do. And there's so much more I can do on these Raspberry Pis that you can do as well um, if you're interested in getting one. Um, you can get them anywhere, Amazon, if you're in New Zealand, uh, you can get them at like PB Tech or whatever. Uh, there's so many places you can get these. Um, that's, you know, uh, you can get so many cool adapters as well, screens, you can make cool little road, robot projects. There's so much you can do with them. Um, so yeah, if you're wanting to learn Linux or um, to start building with uh, with code and start maybe some automation or build some a robot or whatever, um, you can do it all with this cheap little Raspberry Pi. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about and try to get you excited and get you interested into playing around with one of these things. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much for the video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.